Okay, welcome to another episode of On the Wrist from Off the Cuff. Today, I have a really cool review for you from the brand Seiko. A little bit about them. They were founded back in 1881. They are Japanese in origin and now have factories throughout Asia. They cover all market segments from entry level to high end. And in terms of what we're going to be looking at today, it's not actually a wristwatch. As you can tell, it's a wall clock. This is actually from their new 14 inch uh, KO line. And uh, this clock is pretty sweet. It actually comes in three variations, which we'll also pull into frame here in a bit. But but, you know, this wall clock is really inspired by Seiko wristwatches, but instead of it being inspired by, let's say, a Seiko diver uh, dial, this one is going to be a little bit more versatile, a little bit dressier, I would say, um, but also a little bit more casual and less niche uh, from that perspective with those high, uh, high visibility 3D silver colored hour indicators, um, as well as, you know, just it has this really clean look to it, uh, which I like. And of course, that uh, second hand sweep continuously gliding looks great. Definitely reminds you of Grand Seiko, which honestly, Honestly, this clock itself reminds me a little bit of uh, Grand Seiko watches to even include my own personal uh, Grand Seiko here. As you can see, when you look a little bit closer at those indices on the dial, some of those shapes, they definitely translate here into this clock. So I think that's a lot of fun and I'm happy to kind of share something different with you guys every once in a while. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead um, and you know, let's move in, take a closer look, change a couple angles on here. Uh, obviously um, it's a much larger uh, product to feature so I'm not going to be able to just kind of spin it around um, uh, like I would a watch. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. I mean, look at this thing. It's really impressive. Uh, I really do. Of course, it's really all about that gliding seconds hand, very spring drive like. But at the same time, you look at the depth within the dial here. It is just Really, really nice. I like that they did the vertical lines that really give you a bit of a play. Of course, up close, it's you're gonna be able to see those lines. But when you're looking at it from afar, it really does add a special kind of glint to the dial, which I think is really cool. And I really do appreciate, you know, these big faceted indices there that just stand out and, and look really, really great. Then you look at this really awesome brushed handset. You can see the center line there, giving it a little bit of dimensionality again. I mean, of course, this is a wall clock, right? So it's not gonna be as fine as a fine timepiece, but the nice thing is, again, you're gonna be standing much further away. So when you look at it, it's really gonna pop in a way, uh, I think that we can all appreciate as big fans of this dial and you know just this general kind of aesthetic and layout from a brand that we all really really do enjoy then of course you have the outer ring and instead of it looking like a diver's bezel it actually does have the markings for um you know your military time so 2300 2400 1300 1400 1500 you know for 3 3 p.m and it looks really really cool and again it ties in and kind of just reminds you of something like a nice gmt watch where you're going to have uh you know all of those numbers laid out so it's a very very unique and fun look and you can see even uh with not a lot of action on the dial right now as that seconds hand is on the other side of the clock just looking at that, there's just a nice little flow. There's a good little step. There's not too much to it. And uh, I think I just really enjoy it. Okay, so we also have a blue dial variant, which is very, very nice. I like the gold accents. And of course, that nice top cap across the uh, sender uh, seconds hand stack looks really great. Um, and then, you know, the blue and the gold tie together nicely. And it still does have those nice uh, you know, details in terms of the dial here. If we get a little closer, you can see it still has those vertical lines and they definitely play in a different way than you, know, you would get if it didn't have that. So again, it adds just that little bit of depth and you can see depending on the colorway, it's gonna have a different level of contrast on the dial. And of course, the way that everything is gonna reflect across the watch face but yeah again this is really handsome i i think the black one for me really pops the blue is also very nice you guys know i'm a big blue dial fanatic i mean come on so uh this also looks really great but they also do have it in another colorway as well okay now i mean seiko 
you guys, the your clocks division put together a really handsome one here. I would love to see this on a Seiko Presage or a Grand Seiko. I love that, you know, with the blued seconds hand and then also those blued accents around each hour marker. And then of course you go all the way around and then you get that nice 24 hour scale, which ties in very, very nicely. And then of course, if you go in a little bit closer, you can see that lovely again that dial texture which from afar you might not notice as much but the good thing about the black model is that you know you can really see it but you can see here it's a lot more subtle and it really just adds a bit of a look of texture when you're when you're looking at that from afar so very very cool uh, let's actually bring it back in close and maybe just spin this a little around so you guys can get a good idea look at that handset the way that it's has some glinting there in the light very very cool and look at that center uh that 12 hour marker yeah you know guys it's not metal or anything but the chrome finish and those bevels it's very very cool and again it just pays homage to the you know these watches that we love that we go so crazy about that we're real fanatics of from time to time and uh, I, I really, really do dig that and enjoy that. Okay, guys, so <laughs> this thing is just very, very cool. Um, and it's fun uh, to take a look at and, and really kind of get a faux macro uh, because typically, <laughs> you know, when you get in close on a watch dial, you don't get this much detail. But you can see here, guys, especially now, hopefully you're seeing the way that those lines are playing with the light a little bit, the way these indices are still bouncing off the light, even though they're not steel or, you know, with polished rhodium plating or anything like that. The handset is, you know, there's just thin metal that's been brushed and uh, have a nice little fold down the center line. But I have to say that these are a lot of fun, you know, in terms of closing thoughts, these really do remind me of Seiko's popular Presage and Grand Seiko watches with their elegant dial, faceted markers, um, you know, and just the unique dial patterning looks great. You know, as a huge Seiko fan, it is really nice to have some options for wristwatch inspired wall clocks. And as a big dive watch dial guy, you know, um, those those types of styles don't necessarily suit every style of decor. So this is something that your spouse can definitely get along with. Um, so this whole line really offers a more versatile choice. I think that will present well outside of your standard man cave. Um, you know, so I, again, this is something that your significant other might actually approve for you putting outside for other people to see, you know, out in your living room or kitchen uh, versus kind of telling you to keep it in the garage or your own personal office space so with all that said let me know what you guys think in the comments below big shout out to Seiko Clocks USA really appreciate them uh, continuing to collaborate with me sending in new releases for the channel and this is something that I think is very unique and very fun and again quite cost effective just over a hundred bucks you know the full retail price 110 directly from them I'll leave some links down uh, in the description if you guys are interested these are great for uh, whether it's a gift or hey maybe just a little gift to yourself something a little bit fun and then you end up saving yourself some money while you do have something really fun and interesting to kind of scratch that itch while you go but again let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like the video please do it like and if you haven't already please subscribe for more content just like this thanks guys